Hi and welcome to this video. I recently got a question about how to install IonCube Loader on HTACP. So that's what this video is going to cover. As always, I've already created the post here and I will put the link in the description. However, the steps are as follows. You're going to download IonCube, extract it, and then we're going to find out which is our PHP directory extension. Then we're going to copy some files that we downloaded into the PHP directory extensions, the PHP extension directory. And then once we do that, we're going to put the link for IonCube into our PHP INI file. So let's get started. And the first step is download and extract IonCube. And the first step is you need to find out whether you're using a 64-bit or a 32-bit Linux version. Usually, most systems nowadays are 64-bit, so you probably will go with a 64-bit download of IonCube. So if we dissect this command, the first one is going to, we're going to go into this directory that's going to become our working directory. And then we're going to download IonCube. And after we download IonCube, we're going to extract it. So just copy the entire thing there. Copy and log into SSH and then Control Shift V. I'll just paste in everything I've copied. So it's going to download it and extract it. And if we do LS, you'll see that we have Iron Cube that has been extracted. And this is the one that was downloaded and extracted. And then I'm going to do Control L just to clear the screen. So let's find out our PHP extension directory because this is going to be different on your system. Let's find out where the extensions have been put on the server. So I'm going to do Control Shift V, Control Shift V, Enter, and our extension directory is that user lib php that. So I will copy that because I will need it. So that's why I'm copying it. Make sure you copy yours. So what we need to do is we need to copy the next step. We need to copy the IonCube loader file into our extension directory. If we do an ls of ion. So if you do an ls inside of the IonCube folder that we've downloaded, you'll see that there are different loaders inside there. So if you're using PHP 7.4, you will copy that. If you're using PHP 8, you'll copy that. So copy the right one. Or if you want, you can even copy all of them inside there. But some of these are pretty outdated. So you should probably just stick with the ones that you want to use. Like in Hestia, you should probably copy this PHP 7.4 and PHP 8.1. Not this, but this. And this. Let me copy this first. I'm going to I need to create the command here. So copy. I will copy that file. Control V. Just. I will copy the Iron Cube loader into that. But. You need to know where your path is. But I did download it inside of TMP. So I can just add this in front of the path. Copy. So this is the same thing here. You copy the right one. And then I'm going to copy this in there. Control Shift V. Enter. So this has been copied in there. And just for the sake of it, let's say I'm going to run something else with PHP 7.4. I can add this one as well. Copy, especially on HTCP. On HTCP, you can easily edit PHP INI file inside of HTA panel. So those files have been added in there. If you want, you can confirm by doing an ls of that directory, but I'm not going to do that. So if you're unable to copy into this folder, then you need to add sudo before cp. You can see this is a sample server, so I'm just using root. And then once we do that, the last step is the last step is adding this into your PHP INI file. Just to tell the system that this is where you can find the ion cube loader. So let's just prepare this one as well. And then I'm going to show you where you can add it. So I'm going to copy the entire thing. Control V. And I will copy that. Copy. 
and I will put that in front of this. So make sure everything matches for your system. And then I also need to add the other one. I did copy the other one for PHP 7.4. Please note that you don't need to add them in all PHP INIs. If the PHP INI being loaded is for PHP 7.4, that's the one where you'll add this. And you're going to see where you can find the PHP INI inside of HTACP. Before I even go on, if I do a reload of this, you're going to see that I'm trying to install Blaster and IonCube is needed. So if I go inside of HTACP and you log in as the admin user, so I'll log out and log in as the admin user. If I come inside of the server settings here and then I can go inside of configure or I can just come in here. You can see you have the different PHP versions. So I do have PHP 7.4. So I'm going to copy this and inside of the PHP 7.4 FPM, let's edit the configuration file for this and I'm going to go with advanced options. So if I expand that, so I'm going to paste it in here. I'll just paste it at the top. Once I paste it there, I can just save. So not I added that for PHP 7.4 because I have multiple PHP versions running on my server so even if i reload it's still not going to work because the php version being used by the website is php 8 so let's go back and we're going to add it again for php 8 the one for php 8 is that copy that and let's track php 8.1 and then i'm going to edit this one as well let's just go into advanced options so you can see I added this for PHP 7.4, but it's showing up here. Then you just need to edit PHP 8.1. Let's see. So this is the one that has PHP 8.1 FPM dot INI file. So I'm going to copy that and I will come back into SSH and I'm going to edit that. So I'll just do control L to clear the screen. And then I want to use nano. So if you're not using, if you're not the root user, you need to add sudo, but I am the root user now. So I'm just going to use nano for this. Control shift v so for php 8.1 we shouldn't add 7.4 but we should add the one for php 8 let me just do control x and i want to use vim vi so with Vim, I can just delete by doing DD. Then I can edit A, press I to edit, and then I will control shift V to paste. And then I will escape shift ZZ to save. So PHP is not started yet, but let's just see if this has reflected. So right now, if I was to start, if I was to start uh, my server this error is going to go away that you can list them all after another like that then you can just come into Hestia and copy them inside there and it's going to add them to all this all of these uh, php ini files so right now even if i do a refresh you'll see that this is not working but if i restart the server let's just reboot the server Or I can just restart PHP 8.1. Restart PHP 8.1. And now, if I come back here, this error should have gone away. There you go. So you can install Blaster. So that's how to install IonCube inside of Hestia CP if you need it for any of your PHP applications. If you have any questions, just let me know. So on HTCP, the brief is this. First of all, come into this post, download IonCube, then you're going to get multiple versions of IonCube. You'll need to copy those IonCube files into the correct PHP extension directory. If you want to copy multiple, you can copy multiple. And I've shown you how you can copy for 8.1 and 7.4. 
So you copy it into the right file. Make sure that you're using the right file. Don't copy from here because this will probably tell you that the directory does, does not exist. And then once you do that, the last step, which is actually letting PHP know that IonCube exists, is by adding the link to IonCube on PHP INI file. If you add it on PHP INI file via HestiaCP, you see that it adds it to all the files. Hestia does a good job of telling you where the INI files are. So if you copy the one for PHP 7.2, you need to add the link to the right PHP INI file. So I hope the video is not too long, but it is still helpful and it should help you to get IonCube working on your server if you're using HestiaCP. All right, that's it. If you, need, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. In the next video, I want to do an overview of Blaster if anybody wants to use it. I've not been using it for long, but I believe if you don't know how to use it, the next video will be helpful in, help, in helping you get started with Blaster.